Oh, well. Don't need your help anyway. Thanks. We have three canvases to show you today. So one, nope, yes, nope, yes, oh yes, nope, yes. Mondaysaving.com, had to make sure. Getting a lot filmed today, so you are going to see this shirt and this, what's happening? It's like really bright and shiny. It's just a floof. Um, anyway, so I am filming lots today. Hoping to get quite a few videos up. So you're going to see this shirt a lot. Um, I will get off my bed eventually, but probably not for a couple more hours. <laughs> Actually, I've been taking lots of breaks in between. So this first canvas is a little late in the game, but she is one I have been wanting for a while. And I know this is stolen art, but I have been wanting her... And I found her as a special drill. So I had to have her. Because I do not want to do a humongous, gigantic one of the original artwork. Um, yeah, because I just don't. So I love that this is a special drill. Actually, I think it's just rhinestones. I don't think there's any special stones on here. But she has her little kitty friend. So we have Elsa and Binks with her. Isn't she cute? I love her. And her little pumpkin stap. She is adorable. So there are 14 different colors or stones on this. I guess there is an, a special, I can see the little oblong. Oh yeah, for her, the flower on her hat. Yeah. Okay. So let's jump in and see what we get. We have a standard toolkit with some of the tweezers. Ooh, see beautiful green. Love it. Ooh, nice. Very nice. So starting off, we have black. They are opaque. Opaque? Opaque. <laughs> easy for me to say, but they have the rhinestone backing. That only, I don't understand that. It's like, what's the point of the rhinestone backing when you put the opaque, I don't know. Anyway, so we have black, we have kind of a grayish blue and clear. Ooh, that is a really cool purple and it's really hard to see. You can kind of see. I'm trying to get the light to hit it just right because it is it's like a really dark purple there you go so it is a very interesting color we've got two shades of brown and then orange there in the middle these colors are really hard these dark colors are really hard to capture on camera then we have beautiful pink and that awesome green, light purple, beautiful raspberry color, some black oil slick drills, and then, oh, we do have, we have two. So we have our gold marquee and then some larger yellow rhinestones. But there you have it. She is going to look spectacular. So excited. Let's cut this kid away and we'll jump right into the next one. Put it in the bag so I can read the numbers. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am to be back. Oh, that was just such a nightmare. Now I'm going to be in the process of figuring out how to back everything up. Because God forbid that ever happens again. I, oh, I tell you, if I ever got my hands on the person that did that, even though I got it all back, thank God, but still just the trauma and the stress that that caused, oof, I do not wish that on anybody. 
except for that person who did it to me. So another toolkit with tweezers. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty and she's purple. Look at the stars. It's funny, it looks like there's already rhinestones on there, the way they're, the code is, it looks like it's already a rhinestone. It's funny. Isn't she cute? And her little heart on her head. I love her. I love her so much. These, I have had these sitting here waiting to film for so long. I have been chomping at the bit to like really look at them because if you've been here for a while, you know that I save the unveiling for myself with you. So I don't really, I see them on the screen when I order them. And then when I get them in, I like take them out and like quickly look at them just to like check off on my list of what's come in the mail. So I don't really examine them and look at them until I am with you. So that's why I'm so excited because it is my actual first time looking at them. So that way I figure it's more exciting instead of me just going, okay, here's this one. I've already loved it and oogled over it. <laughs> But anyway, the little birdies are very active out there today. I've got Mr. Squirrel is still eating. Oh, he is such a pig, man. I tell you. Well, I've got two of them. Sometimes I have three, but I have two. So I'm not exactly sure who is who because they're pretty much the same size. So it's really hard to tell who is who. Okay. Back to the reason you are here. We have two sizes of stars and then a lot of beautiful crystal teardrops with the AB finish. Beautiful purple AB marquee. We have two bags of this awesome shade of purple. Kind of a green, kind of a chartreuse kind of color. Two shades of yellow. Ooh, there's that purple again. There, oh, there you can see it. Yes. So that's the same color that is on the witch. So that is cool. And then, oh, look, we have more of the black rhinestone. It's kind of a trick because they're opaque. Opaque. Oh, I think I said that word today. Opaque. Oh, beautiful, pale pink. There you go. And then we have two bags of just regular clear, which I will swap for AB. I cannot tell you. I have, they have to be sparklers. I cannot have plain crystal now that I have found. And they're not even crystal. They're just clear. I cannot use just regular clear now that I have found sparklers. And I, ha I apologize, Tina, if you see this. I have not ordered from you in ages. I have been using the Joann's ones. I'm sorry. And I have to tell you the, uh, not the Joann's ones, the, um, the Diamond Dots ones. The difference in quality between the sparklers that Tina sells and the um, sparklers that Diamond Dot sells, huge night and day difference. They're still pretty and they're still nice, but the ones that Tina sells, so much nicer. And I need to get off my lazy butt and actually order them so I can go back to using them. So, and then the last color is this beautiful, oh look, look, I match. <laughs> I know I'm a dork, that's why you love me, right? Oh, and trust me, if you're laughing at me, that's okay because I'm goofy, I know I am, and that's part of me, that's who I am. Don't mind if you laugh because I'm, it's okay. I'm trying to be funny, so hopefully you're laughing and not just going, oh. Did you like that face? Now this next one is definitely different from what, okay, I just, I confused myself. I thought I told you the wrong place. No, this is one day same. Um, standard toolkit. So this next one is way different than anything I have ever got um, I have ever gotten in the past, but this is going to be a gift for my brother-in-law. He restores and builds 
Mustangs and trucks. So when I saw this, I knew I had to make this for him. And I was really hoping to get this done in time for Christmas. But I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. I guess I could drop everything and work on it now. And I almost went ahead and made it um, when I saw that it had come in. But I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to show you. So this is now, this is December 6th when I'm filming this. So I may have time if I drop everything and get this done because I haven't gotten anything for him for Christmas yet. But isn't this cool? This is super cool. So this will be awesome in his garage. He built this huge, like separate garage um, on his property. And that's where he houses all of his parts and pieces and bits. Um, the coolest thing that he has done to date is he took three different vintage Mustangs. One um, that had been in sitting in a field, one that had been through a tornado and was literally in a tree, and one that had been burned out. So he took all those, the salvageable pieces from all three of those cars. Sorry, I just spit. And he built it into one car and named the car Twisted Timbers. So cool. So um, he is an extremely, extremely talented man. And I really hope he enjoys this. This is a 50 by 35 centimeter. So it's kind of an odd. Yeah, I may not be able to get it framed in time for Christmas because I might have to have my dad build it. Anyway, I'm working through this and with you and I really shouldn't be. You're just here to see. But I love the bright colors of this. This vintage look. Super cool. Super, super cool. I wish that it hadn't been cut off. I hope, wish the Y hadn't been cut off. But I don't know. Maybe that's the way the original sign looked. I don't know. Super cool. I like it. It's very neat. And I hope he likes it too. So this is a regular drill because, you know, guys don't like rhinestones. And he's definitely not a glitter person at all, but I know he will appreciate this. But as soon as I saw this, it just screamed his name at me. And look at all of this. So many colors. I mean, it's red, yellow, and blue. But there are 21 different colors on this painting. 21. 21. There's some color blocking. The yellow looks like all one, pretty much one shade of yellow. But then we've got several shades of red, several shades of blue, and then of course the flesh tone. Peach tone, I should say, not flesh, because not all flesh is peach. I apologize. All right, so let's jump in and see all these different colors we have. It's exciting. So we have a very dark blue, mustardy color. Off-white, beautiful. Look at that peach. That peach is gorgeous. And then kind of a mossy color and gray. Actually, on camera, it looks mossy, but in real life, it's brown. It's a very tan color. And then this is kind of a melted chocolate color, milk chocolate color. Let me do it this way so I can... I think we have... Yeah, we do. Okay. So there are two shades of gray, and then we have two bags of red, which I bet you this is, it is, it's my favorite red, 6.66. Then we have this, this is a mossy green color, and then another bright red, or no, this is 6.66, this is 6.06, no, yes, no, yes, no. 321. This is 321. I thought it looked darker. This is 666. This is my favorite. This is like the ultimate cherry red. And this is the ultimate like true red color. Well, I guess I'm lying. This is more cherry red, isn't it? When you compare it to my cherry. No, it doesn't matter. Sorry. Tangent coming back. Beautiful orange. We have four bags of yellow which will be okay because I can use one multi-placer to get that done pretty quick. And we have this other like sunflowery orange yellow and another peach. Then we have 
two, three, four shades of blue, two bags of this color. And then there are two more brownish colors there. So pretty cool. I'm excited. Maybe I'll take a break from filming today and get started on this so I can at least so I can give this to him for Christmas. Because I will feel really bad if I don't have anything for him. Emily and I usually go to Christmas to Christmas. Home to Kentucky for Christmas. But this year with everything going on and with my health is kind of um, dropped and the winter is supposed to be really bad up north this year and I don't think I can handle the cold. So we are staying home. So I want I have to have everything done like a week before Christmas so I can give it to my parents for them to take. So yeah. Anyway. There you have it. That is that for today. And I thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. And I tell you that from the bottom of my heart. If you are new, I would really love for you to go back and watch some of my earlier videos. I have a lot of awesome paintings to share with you. Um, some of the older ones may not be available anymore, but I do have on the sites that I link, um, sometimes they do sell out or they um, they don't always bring them back and get new ones, whatever. But um, if you do searches, if there's ever anything that I list that the link is sold out, um, go down to the bottom of the links. There is an AliExpress link and a Peggy Buy link. Most of the things, if you can't find them on the original site or if they're my really old videos from eBay purchases, you can almost always find them on Peggy Buy or AliExpress. But... I guarantee you, if you are watching this right now in December, um, you will be able to click the links in the description box right at the top, and that will take you directly to these paintings and to um, onedaysavings.com, and you can shop directly from them. They have some really cool stuff. They have several of these vintage-looking um, pieces if you like that stuff, so please go check them out. Give them some love. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm.